Kelsey from Meyer Hatchery here. With fall in the air and winter just around the corner, I'd like to talk about using the deep litter method in your coop. It can be expensive and time consuming to change out your coop's bedding each week, especially if you have a larger coop. The deep litter method can be a more sustainable, cost effective, and low maintenance way to manage your coop. Similar to composting, this method uses dry, brown carbon materials to balance out the high nitrogen and ammonia content of poultry manure. Beneficial microbes will begin to break down the litter over time. A byproduct of this breakdown is heat, which is a great bonus for winter time. My coop has a dirt floor, but the deep litter method can also be used in coops with wood floors. Most chicken keepers recommend lining the floor and lower sides of your coop with a waterproof barrier like linoleum or sheet metal to prevent the wood from rotting. Aeration is incredibly important for this method to be successful. Good news, your chickens can help with the heavy lifting by scratching and turning the bedding for you. I like to throw a few handfuls of sunflower seeds or scratch to my flock to encourage scratching. You can simply add a new layer of dry material each week or as needed. To get started, put four to six inches of dry bedding down as a base. Kiln dried pine shavings or pine pellets work well. Once you have this absorbent base, you can switch to using other free materials like dry leaves or wood chips, either from your local yard waste collection center or tree trimming company. Straw is a great insulator for cold nights, but it's not as absorbent as pine shavings. If your region tends to have rainy, wet winters, Pine shavings do wonders soaking up excess moisture. You might also utilize other waste streams like uneaten hay from other livestock. Just be mindful using too much hay as it is more nitrogen rich and may generate too much ammonia. Keep an eye out for areas that are damp or matted. You may need to use a pitchfork to aerate these areas that the chickens aren't turning. If you begin smelling ammonia your carbon to nitrogen ratio may not be balanced properly, your coop may be too wet, or you may not have enough ventilation in your coop. High ammonia levels can quickly cause respiratory problems in your flock, so it's really best to stay ahead of this issue. In this case, prevention really is the best medicine. Come spring, or when the litter has reached about 12 inches high, the litter, which should now resemble compost, can be removed to use in your garden or your orchard. When starting the process again, go ahead and leave a couple inches of the composted litter as a starter to speed up the breakdown process for the next batch. We'd love to hear your experiences and tips for using the deep litter method in your coop in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.